great to see you again, since I haven't seen you since Sacramento. Sacramento. So can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Carolina Hernandez. I'm a Navy veteran, and I'm, I'm an immigrant. I was born and raised in Mexico, and I moved to the States with a desire to become a fashion designer when I was 18 years old. Um, you know, when I came here, I had the dream, right, to go to school, but then I had a problem. I didn't speak English, so I had to go and kind of like learn that first. And then I met somebody who was in the Navy, and I was like, you're in the Navy? He's like, yeah, you can go see the world. And I'm like, how do I do that? And he's like, well, you joined the Navy. So that's kind of like how I joined the Navy and served on board USS Pearl Harbor and deployed three times during my time on active duty. Yeah, during my time here, learning how to speak the language, I remember I used to stickies everywhere, you know, on the table, on the chair. And I was, I was um, very determined because I'm like, if kids can learn another language, I can learn another language. So that was my challenge and my motivation to literally push myself and, and learn. You know, part of me, if I wanted to join the Navy, was learning the language. And, and that was, you know, like one of the challenges prior to joining the service. But then, uh, you know, until this day, there's things that I have to Google. You know, I say things backwards sometimes, but I think it's, you know, part of the process. So I know you made the Navy a career. So how long have you been in so far? Uh, I joined the Navy in 2000, and I served on board USS Pearl Harbor for four years, deployed three times. And then when I got out, I'm like, you know what? I kind of love the camaraderie and the, the brotherhood. So I joined the reserves and deployed again in 2012. So now I'm still in the reserves, and I've been in for 19 years. So are you going to make it 20 or 25? I think I want to make it as long as they keep me. <laughs> Amen to that. How did the Navy experience change you? So many ways. I feel like all the skills that I learned in the military, like um, working in team environments, working with diverse groups, working uh, during s stressful situations, I feel like all those skills is what I, literally the Navy prepared me for. Like right now, I feel like when I do a fashion show, it's the same thing I learned in the Navy, right? Communication, leadership, um, you name it, right? And it's all because of my military service. Hey, Carolina, we all know when you are in the military, it um, can certainly give you a lot of stress. Can you speak to how you dealt with that while you're in and through your work as a fashion designer? Because I think people would really like to know that story. Yes. So Go ahead. Being deployed four times, it takes a lot of pressure, not just um, as a person, but a family, you know, everything. So after my last deployment, when I came home, I didn't know how to be normal. Like, I didn't know how to cope. Like, I was kind of ready to leave again. You know, I feel like it took some time for me to adjust to, like, no, I'm home. Like, I need to, you know, adjust myself and just kind of, like, start a career or do something where I can just be like everybody else, you know. But I think it's, that's what a lot of veterans uh, struggle with that. So one of the things that I started doing is, besides sewing, because I've been doing it for many years, but literally digging into events with veterans and just kind of like creating art in a way for me to just decompress. You know, like sewing for me is a way that when I'm sewing, I'm just solving problems in my head. I'm kind of like, you know, when I'm creating is when I'm thinking, oh, okay, then I can fix this, you know. And I, I feel like for me, it's an outlet to cope with the mental health and, and the stress pretty much when you know, after the military service, and even during, you know, military service in the reserve, sometimes we have, you know, things that we're dealing on a, sometimes in a, on a daily basis. And I think for me, fashion is what really keeps me on, you know, on, on my feet. And today I'm here with my beautiful models. I make these designs that are non-conventional items, and I'm gonna show you each and every one of them. Today I'm here with my model, Haley, and she is wearing this amazing dress made out of teddy bears. And as you can see, I utilized 183 mini teddy bears to decorate this dress. And this is kind of like inspired by the Lolita style, the Japanese style actually of the costumes that wear in Japan. Okay, and here I have my beautiful mama, Ken, and she's wearing this dress made out of 3,000 pom-poms. And yes, I glue each and every single one of them in this dress. How long did it take you to make that one? I think about like eight hours to make this dress. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's stunning. 
have a fast sewer, so. When you get into it, does the sewing, because this is what happens to me when I edit. Uh -huh. I lose track of time. Oh, same thing. I'm just looking at the clock and I'm like, okay, I need to eat. Because <laughs> uh, you get into it and all of a sudden the time flies yes, and it's three, yes. four hours later. And I can see how you can make this <laughs> mm -hmm. in yes. eight hours. Mm -hmm. And we have my model, Lachelle. She's rocking this dress made out of 1,280 straws. And as you can see, they're totally functional. I don't know if you'll be able to drink anything with it, but here they are. How long did it take you to make this dress? This one, this one I had to do it in two days because I ran out of straws. So I have to go get some more. <laughs> so hours uh, making the like dress? about eight hours usually because I had to make the base first and what and is the base it's fabric I use um, like a regular fabric see I make a normal dress first you ah, know? and okay. then I for this one I use kind of heavy-duty fabrics that way when I stitch whatever I stitch on it I know it's not gonna rip or if it adds weight like a teddy bear I know it's gonna hold the weight 